total loss of the vessel. Two o'clock in the morning of April 15th, the Titanic went down. The side the superstructure, the unsinkable Titanic would sink. Of the 2,227 people on board, about a third of them survived. One of the survivors was Frank Lucky Toner. Well, he's one of 710, okay? Lucky, but maybe not miraculous. Can lightning strike twice? Well, guess what? His name, again, was on the crew manifest of the Empress of Ireland. In 1914, it was torpedoed by a German submarine, and this would be the largest passenger vessel to be lost during World War I. 1,477 people on board, 465 survived. Among the survivors was, guess who? Frank Lucky Toner. Lightning <laughs> struck twice. Can it strike three times? Well, look at Frank Lucky Toner. Again, his name appears on the crew manifest of another ill-fated vessel, the RMS Lusitania. They departed New York for Liverpool on May the 1st of 1915, and six days later, they would be torpedoed off the coast of Cove, C-O-B-H in the Gaelic is pronounced Cove, and it is the port for Cork in the southern part of Ireland. Sank in 18 minutes. Now there were 761 survivors. Guess who one of those 761? <laughs> exactly, Frank Lucky Toner. And the last one is another one that's been debated for years with volumes having been written about this being an actual ship in the Royal Navy, and as just as many volumes pointing to the fact that no, it didn't exist. Choose whichever you'd like to believe. Whatever happened, the keel was laid on a Friday. The crew was selected on a Friday. Hmm, I don't know, I'm a little superstitious. I don't want to be sailing on this ship. Well, it was launched on a Friday under the command of, guess who, Captain James Friday. <laughs> on its maiden voyage, it is said that the HMS Friday vanished. Guess what day of the week it was? Oh, on a Friday. So you see that this great ocean that you've chosen to spend the last few days <laughs> together has all wonderful tales, uh, incredible scenery. It's with the Arctic Ocean, the, the wine dark seas of Homer with the great sunsets that we have in the Mediterranean, all over the globes, Antarctica, the Arctic, all these wonderful tales and these beautiful areas uh, steeped in lore and legend and mystery, and hopefully it has you thinking about what some of these may have, uh, have occurred here. Now all that's left for me, ladies and gentlemen, is to offer a huge thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. What? What is the seven seas? Uh, to the ancient world, seven mean many. Uh, and before the 15th century, the money see of the world, uh, the Red Sea. The Mediterranean Sea, the Persian Gulf, the Black Sea, the Atlantic Sea, the Caspian Sea, the Indian Ocean Sea. Today, the, the world ocean in Germany went to the four main oceans, the Atlantic. Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the uh, Pacific Ocean, Ocean to the number of small sea and go. And next to the wreckage, they found a number of uh, items, and there were Air Force items mostly. There were some uh, a little packet. There was a little chain, there was a little uh, container and stuff to keep your, maybe your cigarettes in. And also found with all of this stuff was the identification card, an ID card of Lieutenant Michael Blassie. So, and that's circled right there. So the ID card must have been that you want to, want to believe that it's your, your person. But there were other people, nine or nine casualties near and locked around the same time and so it could be any of nine people they found captain uh, Sto captain rodney stowbridge who more who matched that uh forensic profile a little closely more closely so there was no evidence that convinced anybody and the remains were then called x26 and because of the pressure that was put on to the government when well, the government was uh, pressured 
to find an unknown soldier from the Vietnam War, they went ahead in 1984 when President Reagan was president, and at Arlington National Cemetery, X-26, the individual that everybody thought was Michael Blasey was interned as the unknown Vietnam soldier. And there he stood for quite a while. Is he really unknown? Well, the problem is a, a balancing act between full accounting, in other words, identifying everybody that you can, and so they put a shroud over the, uh, over the unknown soldier's grave, and it was guarded when it was pulled out. It was that the unknown soldier and Gene Blassey completely matched up mitochondria to link him with the rest of the soldiers. And there he is, Michael uh, Joseph Blassey, used to be the unknown Vietnam soldier, is now unknown, and is buried where his parents wanted him to go. The crypt is empty. Nobody is in there anymore. There is no unknown Vietnam soldier. And the inscription has been changed. Honor because that person has been found, not known not only to God, but to some technologists and scientists and now everybody in the world. Honoring and keeping faith with America's uh, missing servicemen, I think that is a much more general way of looking at it and says what we want. Okay. Good story. Give me a minute. Okay. <clears throat> September 11, 2006, the identification of James McGovern. Now, you may not have heard of him, but I guarantee you, you will know what he did in 97, quite a ways after, of course, the war had to be over. And they said they remember a plane coming down in the area, and they also had, in the village, they had a first done, and demo records were immediately good because they excluded Wallace Buford, so it was not his co-pilot. Because Wallace Buford had a demo, this individual had a demo bridge, and Wallace Buford did not. Nobody knew the devil status of James McGovern, so it could still be him. And we uh, had the port now uh, in uh, Amsterdam, we come back. Um, Amsterdam, uh, now it's uh, 5, 5.20 a.m. Okay, in the morning, so uh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, beautiful TV, beautiful people. Uh, so we had a night trip, 12 day trip, very beautiful uh, trip, the best so far. So thank God, thank uh, um, God for uh, health, thank God uh, for the for the health, thank God for the health, thank God uh, so from uh, people nine people on uh, Amsterdam, Norway, nine people, uh, nine city. Now we yet to get off the ship. Uh, we in uh, Amsterdam now. Go 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 5.50. No, no, no. 10.50. So, uh, get off the ship. Go to uh, now. We uh, want to take the tram, but we are. We change our mind. We uh, take the. Uh, we walk to the train station. Train station just uh, in front here. Thank you, I'm Amsterdam, very nice people. <laughs> go, go back to Amsterdam, we'll go to Serapa. Thank you and the dam. <clears throat> Today is the uh, 
Monday 25th. We come here uh, 13 days ago on I think 4 14 days ago on uh, 11 uh, June 11 2012. So we just finished uh, 12 days uh, Norwegian and North North Pole uh, Arctic Circle. So we enjoy this, this one the most fantastic, beautiful, beautiful trip we ever take. I thank God for uh, uh, support me for the health. Uh, um, so thank you very much. I try to do my best to pay back. So the trip very nice. We go through uh, five places, not uh, near North Pole. So that's the we took a lot of trips in 1988 until now. We enjoy most on this one. Uh, uh, I feel. Uh, Bad I don't my wife can make it so I think I will take take her back <coughs> this draw again in future for her to uh, comprehend comprehend the nature the beautiful not in nature so I took a lot of picture for her to see so uh, on the way to walk to the transition I try to speak in the tape I recall uh, this this is Norway the most country most beautiful country in in the world also uh, very nice people I appreciate that and my heart so I come back Norway I promise so we uh, approach presentation right now Let I try to help this man here. He kind of uh, oh. heavy. I try this man. He heavy for him. We walk on this one on uh, on the tail. Yeah, we walk on this one on on the tail. We see the bridge here. June. Yeah, we arrive at train station after ten minute walk. Bye bye after them. I'm going to go to transition. We go to La 
from Tene. Go to the airport.
the seven of uh, Pori. We fly at uh, 10 50, so we have our time. cho đi kia biết á, phải học học đâu. Đúng
una anche una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che si può dire che non è una cosa che se vuoi bere la vino, mi ti mi trappa, mi giungo la trovo, è un po'.
Look at me again. Thank you. 